how y'all doing? Onion and Asayo. That's for all of the Korean um, people I know who are going to be tuning into this video. So I have a subscriber, Chocolate Capricorn Hey Girl, who asked me to speak on um, a viral video on TikTok where a young woman talked about her uh, her experiences from working for Eben New York, which is a beauty supply company um, that is known for making products that cater to African American. I watched the entire video, by the way, and I was shocked, but not really. Um, she, and let's just back up for a minute. So those of you who don't know, of course, I'm a natural hair um, YouTuber, content creator. I've been natural for 10 plus years. But not only that, um, I worked in corporate America for 10 years, um, excuse me, for 15 plus years. So I have learned how to do what we call code switch i know that's right child oh hey rebecca yes i would definitely get that to you by noon yes so we code switch code switch so that's what we learned to do let's go back to the reason i'm making this particular video it's a response and my reaction to the video so like i say that i watched the entire video about this young lady's experience as being the only black person for this company and i believe her responsibility was just as like a social media uh, marketing person okay um why why wouldn't you hire a black person which is your target audience to do that it's treated very badly in my opinion um at this company um and then when she went to go to hr to complain about how she was being treated of course hr uh took the necessary steps to protect their assets and their company their money at hr human resources is there to protect the company they are not there to protect the people that's just that's just a fact okay one of the things i want to mention you guys is that there are some culture differences when it comes to work relations and how you work, especially when it comes to hierarchy. And a, and a lot of Asian companies, as cultures, they strive on that. There's a hierarchy, right? But this bypassed that. They were outrightly treating her differently because she is black to the point to where another Korean um, employee there noticed it and even said, I don't know why they're being so racist towards you, towards this young, young woman, okay? So supposedly, to make this, I'm going to have to say supposedly, this company has purchased another black-owned company, and the company is Tropical Out. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. So um, now this is a company that I used, to, well, I have products by, but baby, you best believe I won't be purchasing any more products by Tropical Out. I guess the number one thing they produce are hair waxes for gel. So I am going to be putting some alternatives below. Um, I think we all know by now that a lot of these companies are not fully black owned. Cantu, I'm a huge Cantu fan. Cantu, Miguel. Um, there are so many companies out there. Um, Curl's Daughter that had to sell. And I, I spoke about this in my previous, you know, chit chat video. So anyway, um, I think it is horrible how this young woman was treated. I'm gonna read the statement that they made on their website so that y'all can see it. So this is the statement that they made. We are aware of videos posted on social media by a former employee and we are conducting an internal review of the allegations she raises. Every day, Eben demonstrates a strong and unwavering commitment to the communities we serve by providing the highest quality products to celebrate the beauty of black women and women of color. Okay. We also take pride in our partnerships with community based organizations. Okay. So I, they trying to cover, they trying to, okay. I see what they do. We also take pride in our partnerships with community based organizations, schools, and other, other philanthropic endeavors to support our communities. So are you saying that the African American communities are also your communities? Even is that where you're saying that you're we're all together because we're not? Um it's, it hasn't felt that way in my opinion in a very long time. We all know that the beauty supply stores, or we should know the beauty supply stores and the black communities are predominantly 
owned by Koreans. That's a fact. Um, there are some African American uh, that are starting to open up their own beauty supply stores. We have one here in my small town of Horny, Texas, which I frequent. Um, I haven't been to a Korean uh, beauty supply store in years. It is absolutely sad that this woman was treated this way and she was eventually let go from her position again as the only black woman at this predominantly korean um uh company now and mind you she worked for corporate and one thing that she said that was bothering me is for someone who loves different cultures who makes it known that i i have learned how to say hello in like literally half a dozen languages they were speaking predominantly korean in these in these meetings absolutely unacceptable so the fact that they were speaking korean so she doesn't know what was being communicated and we know they were talking about her because she said several times that they would be speaking and smiling and look at her i would be smiling too and be like <laughs> yeah uh yeah yay yay come some yeah so anyway y'all I'm, I'm silly but it is very unfortunate like I said, I will be including some stuff down below. I am glad, like I said, that she's, you know, is documenting this and that she's letting the world know of her experience working for this company. Um, they are hiring. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. They are hiring. Um, I was trying to see what other companies they own. It's really hard, hard to get through this to, you know, maneuver around. But I do know that they own another, like, eyelash company. I think it's like Wonder begins with wonder i don't wear eyelashes just to let you know but y'all if you are a person who is con conscious about where your money goes just know that most of these companies are not black owned i think a lot of us know this most of these companies i'm not gonna say most a lot of these companies do not care about the african-american um journey and our experiences all they care about is our money that's all they want that's all they care about is our coins so one of the ways that we can hit them up like i said check out the description box for some alternatives to their pro products hit them in their wallets don't purchase the product boycott it let's do what we did with these other companies that were you know we felt a certain type of way i ain't gonna say no name shame monster but we felt me yell we felt a certain type of way hit them in their pockets where it could hurt so that's my take on it thank y'all so much for watching take care bye